What's going on, Jerome's? You seen the rest? Now see the best. It's time for the most accurate power rankings in the known universe. If you disagree with any single one of the rankings or rationale, you are wrong. How's it feel? Starting off at the bottom, uh, now we're here, as we always do. At 32 and 33, respectively, you got the, the Cricket Chicago Bears, as well as the Greasy Grime and Green Bay Packers. And it's like, oh, what if I told you in the final 31 minutes of the Vikings-Packers game, the Packers would outscore the Vikings 29-3? to What happened? Well, what happened in the first 20, uh, 29 game, uh, 29 minutes of the game? Hmm? Mm-hmm. Uh, but the Vikings uh, get a convincing win on the road. Hey, I was told that it's a tough place to play Lambeau field. I was told that road division games in the NFC North is nothing to sneeze about, but now the Packers claiming moral victories. Oh, whatever, whatever. Uh, the crooked Chicago bears. So uh, congratulations for being Matthew Stafford and the Rams practice squad. No Avila, no no boom, no offensive line, no Puka, no Cooper Cup. Great job. Awesome. Gold star. Also, we need to stop Caleb Williams from running off the field like he's Joe Willie Namath after Super Bowl three after every single Jabroni win. Congratulations. Uh, next up, 31. So I, I was wrong about Doug Peterson and the Jaguars. <laughs> Doug's ass to go get fired. <laughs> He's already throwing the players under the bus. Uh, I mean, they had this thing cinched at the end, and then C.J. Stroud did C.J. Stroud things. The defense is bad. Trevor Lawrence has regressed, even though he had the largest fantasy game of his uh, of his year so far. But they're just morose. I feel bad for Florida football. At least, at least the Buccaneers are are, are holding serve because the, the Dolphins suck, the Jaguars suck, uh, the Gators are terrible. Florida State is abysmal right now. Oh uh, wait, the U is being the U, so we'll take that. Although I felt like they kind of <laughs> were certainly helped by the officials this week. Whatever. Thirty you got the Dolphins, the aforementioned Dolphins. This is bad, and you could say it's Tua being uh, being gone, but. I mean, I was told that Mike McDaniel was this offensive wunderkind, right? And the Dolphins are playing listless, gutless football right now on both sides. So it's just, it's just rough, man. Just terrible. Although, hey, uh, Snoop, how about you let Devin Achan score that last garbage touchdown, huh? What'd you have to run in? Yeah, frustration. Uh, Twenty nine. You got the Panthers. So they put up the good fight uh, against the Bengals. It just sort of was what it was. I mean, the Panthers are just bereft of talent. Andy Dalton is actually looking kind of good. Deontay Johnson caught some balls. Xavier Leggett got his first career touchdown, did the horse dance, which was fantastic. But, I mean, the Panthers should be sellers at the deadline. I don't know what they have to sell. I mean, maybe Thielen off the hamstring. Maybe he goes to Kansas City. Who knows? Ooh. I, I know. So Tyreek is 31. So why not trade Tyreek back to the Chiefs? Go ahead, Dolphins. Go ahead. Like storylines abound where all of a sudden, hey, may, maybe Travis Kelsey will regain form from a couple of years ago because they got Kareem Hunt as their leading rusher and bring back a Tyreek Hill. Why, why not? Why not, man? 28. Got the Patriots down seven spots. Ugh. Uh, so offensive line is bad. Defense, I mean, the defense is actually solid uh, over the last couple of seasons despite everything going on with Mac Jones. But the, the Patriots defense is atrocious right now. Like the only one worth keeping is uh, is Gonzo. So, I mean, Jones looks bad too. So, uh, yeah. But the the solution is not to play Drake May because Drake May will get destroyed behind this offensive line. The lack of weapons. It's yeah, yeah. Uh, Twenty seven. I got the Giants down four spots. Uh, so, uh, I know it's sort of a near run thing against Dallas on Thursday night. But I don't know. Like. Daniel Jones not the answer. The defense is whatever. Trade us Dexter Lawrence, you cowards. You just go from there. Yeah. Uh, at least Devin Singletary is good. Uh, 26. Uh, you got the Tennessee Titans up four spots. So they finally got the first one of the season. Yay. Levis got hurt. Rudolph came in. Whatever. I don't know. Like, there's literally nothing to take from this game. Just like two of the worst teams in the league. Two teams that are going to be in the top five of the draft just having a rock fight. It's not good. 25. Got the Broncos up on spot. Uh, I, I think that this was much less about the Broncos winning the game than the Jets losing this game. Uh, but, hey, congratulations, Bo Nix threw his first career touchdown. Cool. Cool. He's, he's putting up Tebow passing numbers. Like, maybe maybe the pride of Oregon is inspired by, by Tim and Tebow. Actually, no, he was at Auburn first. So, it's just an homage to the former Gator legend. I mean, SEC, it just means more. Uh, 24. Got the Brown stand put. I don't know. Like, this is – I mean, their, their defense, it's still – 
Ugh. offensively, offensively, like Deshaun Watson is just bad. Like just strictly from a football perspective, everything else, sure, but I mean, Deshaun Watson is just terrible. Absolutely ass terrible. They get Nick Chubb back, and you know that they're just pushing to get him out there. It's like Chubb, we we need you. You're pretty sick, Chubbs. Yeah, a uh, twenty-three. Falcons up one spot. Hey, congratulations. So, I mean, they did have an offensive touchdown. Come on, Kurt. Yeah. Also, what happened to Kyle Pitts? I, I was told reliably that this would be Kyle Pitts and Drake London breakout season. Not so much. Yeah. Uh, but Bajon and company doing things, defense, uh, you know, making some plays. Young Way Koo doing, doing some stuff. Uh, the pride of South Korea. I don't know. I don't know. 22. I mean, there's a lot of teams I just don't know. Like the Rams. Should be good later on in the season uh, once they get Cup and Puka back and their offensive line. You know, Stafford's out here fighting the good fight. And I don't know, like, do, do the Rams entertain training Stafford? Because uh, he's not the quarterback of the future, so what, what do you do? Like, do they try to trade for Bryce, Bryce Young? Do they trade Stafford to a team that has a, a quarterback injury at some point? Put Stafford on the Browns. Go from there. Uh, although they, they obviously can't afford both contracts. 21. Got the Bengals up seven spots. Uh, congratulations for getting your first win. Welcome to the party, pal. Also, it, it sort of bugged me that you're beating the Panthers on the road and Jamar Chase is out there celebrating like they like they just won the Super Bowl. I don't know. Uh, but it, Burrow was bad and disjointed the first three games except for the Chiefs game, uh, but starting to get rolling here, so... Hopefully Cincinnati can build upon this because I actually like the Bengals. Uh, Twenty, you got the Eagles exposed as frauds yet yet again. Uh, yeah, they beat the yeah they beat the Saints. What whatever, but uh, the the Eagles just got schwacked here. Tampa Bay. I mean Tampa rebounding from that Denver loss. I mean, is Denver just playing spoiler? Like, is Denver going to go five and twelve? But the five wins are were five wins that they shouldn't have had. <laughs> just huge upsets. I don't know. Uh, Jalen Hurts without AJ Brown is basically Daniel Jones with better uh, with a better publicist. Yeah, nineteen. Uh, at least Saquon's good. Uh, you got the Jets down six spots. I mean, things are just cracking at the seams, and, and the Vikings have a chance to literally end the Jets season. So I, I think that Rodgers could just quit, just straight up. I'm done. Their offensive line is bad. They're not feeding Brees Hall. The receivers are bad. The defense is dubious at best, and. I don't know, like, uh, you know, Rodgers and Salah are already feuding. So, I mean, th this is going to be over very quickly. 18, you got the Raiders up two spots. Uh, so, a Antonio Pierce uh, beefing with Devontae Adams. Devontae out with contract-itis. Right, so, he wants to be traded. Uh, it's fine. Go ahead, just do it, right? And the Raiders, you know, once they get Max Crosby back, like, maybe there'll be something, but... I don't know. Like I, I think they're going to be an also-ran uh, this season. 17, you got the Cardinals down two spots. So, hey... Kyler, hey, Marvin Harrison Jr., I trusted you. Our guy Drew Petzing, I trusted you. But yeah, hopefully uh, things will turn around once you get Trey McBride back. But, yeah, it was just – every time he, I looked at the score, Washington had the ball. Arizona never had the ball this game. It's frustrating, man. 16, you got the Saints down two spots. I don't buy Derek Carr. I never did. I, I didn't buy their 2-0 start. They're being exposed as frauds. So, also, Clint Kubiak. Hey, remember when it was hyped up that Clint Kubiak is going to be a future head coach? Nah, maybe in the UFL. Nah. Uh, wait, they don't have the UFL anymore. Uh, 16, 15, rather. Uh, you got the Colts. Uh, nodded up at two and two. I get a win on the road. Uh, excuse me, at home against Pittsburgh. So jumping Joe Flacco coming in for Anthony Richardson with that hip injury. Uh, I mean the offense was kind of humming along. Uh, Jonathan Taylor Thomas got dinged up, but I don't like I, I like the Colts, but I I don't love the Colts. You know what I mean? Fourteen. You got Bama roll tied. So winning a classic uh, against Georgia, getting up that big lead and then giving away and then holding off, holding off uh, the comeback attempt. I don't know what that's like. Yeah, but Bama. Jalen Mulro, I think he has really vaulted himself into the Heisman conversation as well as uh, the contention for number one overall pick. He's looking good, man. 13. Uh, you got the Cowboys. How about them Cowboys? Congratulations on being the Giants. Still not buying them. Uh, but hey, give the ball to Dalvin, you cowards. Uh, Rico Dowdle, all that stuff. Nah. Uh, he got the Chargers at 12. So it's just too many injuries. Uh, Herbert got dinged up again. The offensive line is in shambles right now. Harbaugh wants to run the ball and play good defense, but uh, I, I, it was a close game uh, against the, the Chiefs, but aren't the Chiefs like 5-0 in SoFi or, or something like that? That's ridiculous. Uh, 11, got the Steelers. So they got humbled on the road uh, against the Colts. I mean, 
the Steelers are still going to be I right. like the defense. I, I like TJ Watt. I love it's good that Fields is getting an opportunity here, but I don't know. Ten. I got the Niners uh, down two spots. I, I mean, well, they had to move down two spots because a lot of teams moved up. But San Francisco evens things out at two and two home game against the Patriots. You know, it's just sort of it is what it is. Uh, nine. I mean, even though the Niners are two and two and have the playoffs start of the day, uh, they will be out of the playoffs, but they'll be fine. Like the the Niners will rally. Brock Purdy had himself a damn fine game. Uh, nine, he had the Seahawks, so they got beat down a little bit uh, against Detroit. But Geno played some fantastic ball. Kenneth Walker scored three touchdowns. After that, we thank you. Yeah, uh, DK got interfered with. By the way. No problem. And also, remember, like, half of their defense is out, especially their defensive line. So, uh, Seattle will rally, and they'll be perfectly fine. Uh, that was just Detroit's night on Monday. Eight, you got the Ravens up three spots. Bang! Speaking of their night. So, the Ravens welcome in the Bills. And I, I like the Bills. I wasn't in love with the Bills. You know, we gave them props for being uh, the number one team in last week's power rankings, but the Ravens just shellacked them. I mean, Derrick Henry, first play, untouched, 87 yards. No problem there. Uh, so the the Ravens, I don't know what to make of this Ravens team yet. It seems like maybe Harbaugh's message is wearing a little bit thin. Maybe the team is sort of tuning him out, but I mean, they're starting to get healthy. They're starting to get after things. I mean, if they trade for Devontae Adams, like may, maybe that'll be it. Maybe that'll be the thing to do. Seven, got the Bills uh, down six spots. So, I mean, the first three games, they look dominant. And Josh Allen was playing at MVP level, but they just got stomped. They just got humbled. Uh, and, and all of the issues that we talked about, lack of receiving weapons uh, after Diggs and Gabe Davis left, uh, the defense got gutted and also had injuries. So all, all that came home to roost finally uh, week four. Uh, six, you got the Texans uh, getting a win at home. Uh, last second touchdown, C.J. Stroud doing, doing the damn thing. Now, Texans are still a damn good football team. Uh, they just got wrecked by the Vikings, but that happens a lot. Five, you got the commies up uh, five spots. So Jaden Daniels is him. Offensive rookie of the year uh, in waiting. Love that Scary Terry finally has himself a competent quarterback. Their offensive line is doing da- damn good things. Uh, Christian McCaffrey's brother is the only McCaffrey brother uh, active in the league right now. Defensively, they still have a lot to work on, uh, but they'll go from there. Four, got the Buccaneers up three spots. So I, I knew that they were due for a letdown after beating the Lions in Detroit, uh, but they bounced back in a big way, just handling the Eagles. Uh, Baker is back. Mike Evans, the ageless wonder. Uh, Bucky Irving, our, our guy, getting a little bit more work. Love to see that. Three, we got the Lions. I mean, wh- whatever. I mean, no one talks about how Seattle shredded the Lions' defense at home. No one talks about that. Okay, but, ooh, Jared Goof didn't have uh, incompletion. Uh, congratulations on having, like, the easiest throws out there. Just like, eh, nah, nah, good job. Awesome. Cool. Uh, also, this is, a, this is a game that just fires up uh, the, the Lions hype yet again. I'm still not buying it. You know, week seven, welcome on into U.S. Bank Stadium. Bring it. Bring it on, man. Two. Got the Chiefs uh, up one spot. So we ha- we knocked them down to three. I mean, so the Vikings in 2022, they got knocked for having 11 wins by a single score. But the, the Chiefs have played close games all throughout. All four of their wins are by a single score. They struggled uh, at times against the Chargers. But, yeah, I mean, they're still the champs. They're still the GOAT. They're still the GOAT. Fully understand and respect that. Lastly, number one, we know what it is. All right, so even though the Vikings sort of tried to give it away, give it away, give it away now second half against the Packers, they didn't. They made plays, and they sacked up, and they got done uh, in a very hostile environment against an allegedly good opponent. So you, you got to give them credit there. And the Vikings going to move to 5-0 and after beating down the Jets over in London, heading into the bye, flying high, getting healthy. Hawkinson, Reisner back. Woo. This team is fun. This team is physical. This team is dangerous. The defense will rise again, and this offense is going to be top three, and they ain't going to be three in, in the National Football League. Slinging Sam Darnold, America's quarterback MVP. So there you go. But uh, that's it. That's the week five NFL power rankings, the most accurate power rankings in the known universe. If you disagree with any single one of the rankings, you are wrong. How does it feel? Let us know your thoughts, our thoughts, comment section. You guys know what to do. Skull production value.